Welcome to Reliance Training on Getting Started with Reliance Fracas. In this tutorial, we'll focus on adding an incident to Reliance Fracas to simulate logging and tracking an issue, and associating that incident with a problem for further analysis and resolution. We will assume that you have viewed our previous overview tutorial on getting started with Reliance Fracas prior to viewing this video. To start, we are signed into Reliance and viewing the incident table in our drone example analysis. Let's imagine that for our quadcopter drone, a customer called in to complain about a hard landing. First, we need to create an incident to record the complaint. To insert a new incident, we go to the empty row at the bottom of the incident table, and we click in the cell for description. Let's enter the details reported by the customer about the hard landing and resulting damage. To continue, we either click in the Data Curd field or press Tab to move to the next cell. Having pressed Tab, notice that the Data Curd field was automatically populated with the date. Additionally, notice that the Incident ID field was automatically populated as well, indicating that Reliance has created a new incident record for us. Note that you can customize this auto numbering in the Analysis Properties in the sidebar. Next, let's enter some additional details relevant to the incident. Starting with the cause, the repair action, and the resolution. For now, we will leave the Closed checkbox clear. Closed has a special meaning in Reliance Fracas and indicates that the incident resolution is complete. Additionally, the Date Closed field is disabled and will automatically be entered when the Closed checkbox is selected. Now we have the basics of our incident entered. However, during initial incident capture, it is likely that you will want to enter more detailed information about the incident. To do this, we will navigate to the incident form by using the To Form button on the top right of the toolbar. Note that the use of the incident form can also be especially helpful when Reliance Fracas is used on mobile devices. Notice that the data we already entered on the incident table appears on this form, but there are many additional fields that can be entered. We'll enter some additional example details. For simplicity in this example, though, we won't populate all fields on the form. So we'll enter priority, Failure mode. We'll select the downtime category as unscheduled. We'll enter cost of repair and the duration of the fix. Note the red tags indicate that there are changes that have not yet been saved. We can click Save in the toolbar to save the incident and its newly entered data. Since our incident has now been entered and saved, let's move to the Problems table and see if this new incident should be grouped under an existing problem. To navigate to the Problems table, we click Problems in the sidebar. Reliance supports the standard Incident to Problem relationship, where all issues are logged as incidents, and then they are grouped and escalated to problems for deeper root cause analysis. Do note that the use of problems is not required. You can complete the fracas process using incidents only if preferred, but the use of problems can definitely be helpful in many cases. Now by default, the problems table displays the problems associated with the selected analysis tree item. Note that the analysis tree is the detailed product breakdown used in this example drone analysis. Use of the detailed analysis tree is optional in Reliance Fracas. If at any time we want to see all problems, we simply switch to Show All. And at any time when we don't need to see the analysis tree, we can easily hide the window to see more of the problems table, for example. So now we can see all of the problems in this analysis. In this table, we can see that the description for problem 1 is similar to the incident we just reported. 
Note that in this case, it was easy to scan the small number of problems to check for a good association. But in the event of having a large number of problems, you can apply a search by clicking in the road just below the column header. Now we should associate the new incident to problem 1 so duplicate effort does not occur for root cause identification and corrective action. To associate our new incident to problem 1, we click in the row for problem 1 here in the problems table and then click the to form button to go to the problem forms. So problems ultimately are a mechanism to allow you to group incidents together and use of problems provides an organized workflow for handling problems in their resolution. In this example, the problems are defined based on the well-known and established 8D process for problem resolution. Here, problem one is at step seven, prevent reoccurrence in the 8D process. Configurable workflow with optional notifications and approvals can help team members meet each step of the 8D process or whatever problem resolution process you're using. To associate the incident with this problem, we go to the Problem Overview tab. Here we can see a field labeled Associated Incidents, which contains a list of all incidents already associated with this problem. To associate our new incident with this problem, we click the link icon to the right of this field. The Associate Incidents dialog appears which displays all of the incidents in this analysis. Incidents that are already associated with this problem are already checked. Notice that in this list, incident 11 is our newly entered incident. We simply select the checkbox next to incident 11, and then click OK to associate our new incident with this existing problem. And lastly, we can save our changes again using the Save button in the toolbar. And just a couple of quick reminders before we wrap up this tutorial. All tables and forms in Reliance Fracas are completely customizable. In this tutorial, we show the default one-step incident template and default 8D problem template provided with Reliance. There are many other incident and problem templates available in Reliance, which you can use as is or customize to fit your needs. Additionally, you can build your own process completely from scratch. And this tutorial demonstrated the use of problems to group incidents together for streamlined resolution. But note that use of problems is not required. The complete fracas process can be applied using incidents only if preferred. This concludes this Getting Started with Reliance Fracas tutorial with our focus on adding incident and problem data. Thanks for watching. Please visit our website or contact us with any questions or to obtain pricing and purchasing information.